right, y'all. So it looks like we got some gold lane shenanigans with Kelra. So let's see what's happening here. Freya gold lane? Okay. Okay. I, I want to see how this goes. Let's get it. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, it's instant. Oh, it's not. Wait. Freya. Freya TV. It's not. Wow. Ang dami na naghahanap nito. Ito na ang lason ng uh, RG. Freya and to carry though? I don't know. I don't know about that. Ay naka-inject na rin sa loob ng MPL Philippines. And this might just be our first gold lane Freya yeah. inside season 13. Pero kung uh, titignan natin, no, when the gold lane Freya actually revealed itself ng pinakaunang kanyang mga bomba rin. So talagang bomba kung bomba to. Ayan na. Kinain. Kakain na kakagad. King Kong with that threat 3. May ipit si Kazen. Papasok na si Lansin. Wow. Lansin. Yung time journey. May liligtas niya. Woo! Pero si Kazen. Tabi-tabi na pala yung shot. Pero babagsak dito sa Escalera. Same with Kazen. Malayang malaya itong si Kera. Nagamit na rin niya yung kanyang Vargalis Descent. Ngayon, aatras muna ang Minana at Onyx Philip. 1v1. Ito yung mga batang Tarzan na pinag-uusapan natin yeah. kanina. Pero dito na yung pagwalis. Yung Angle ni Kirk. Pero mabibitaw ang penalty zone. Kaya lang hindi na siya aabot. Hindi na aabot yung buhay niya. Habang nagamit na rin yung Ubi sa Escalera. Si Kelner oh, dito ay nakapalaya lang na humahampas. Gamit yung kanyang Inspire. So ngayon si Kirk, andito na rin. Lalayo mo na si Kiko. Mapababa ng buhay nila. Puro ha. Oh, Kaya ang hey. ganda. Para na si Kera. Atras mo na sila. Okay. Pero si King Kong ang magwawagi doon sa Retri Battle. Pero hindi pa tapos ang Minana. Nakuha niyo yung yung Lord. Sige, kukuha mo lang kasi nang, kami nang isasay. Kanyang um, Inspire. Nandun yung Poke. Kiko, papasok na nga rin. Wala siya makakaya dito habang nagamit na rin. Yung time journey. Escalera! Oh, si no. Kaze rin mamamatay. Walang jungler yung Minana Evos. Yeah. Pero sabi ng Minana, Paris ilaman na natin kailan ko rin na. Come in! Ano pa pabagsak niya? Pero nandun yung reverse time. At makakapatay si Super Prince Lord ay marinisit. Mm. Pero si Jem right. ay tatamaan mula kay Spider Miles. 3v2 scenario, Super Friends ang natitirang oh. mag-wave clear. Kalahati na kagad yung buhay. Oh no! Oh. Yung missile, pero si oh. Kikong, iuntog na. Santo yung oh, time journey, nice penalty video. zone. Nagamit ni, ni Jim. Ngayon yung Lord! Mm. Mula kay Kikong! Kera? Pagsak din si Kaysen. Sino si Lancey? Tahabuli na nila dito at mapapatay ni Super Friends. I was so confused. I'm like, how do they got a diggy? Oh, that's a Valentina, Tatuha huh? Tatuha mo na ang minala. Tatuha na natitira sa kanila. Si Jim ay nandun din. Nalaban pa si Kirk. Lumapad sa wow. lima. Pero nandun yung reverse time. Hindi na siya makakatakas at si Super... Let me see. Uh... I don't know Valentine, I'm tripping. Oh wait, it is, it is a Valentine. I thought I was tripping, bro. I'm going crazy for a second. It's a Mahuanon. Onik. Wala silang taga-depend sa kayo. Ito na yung Lord. Luminous Lord ito. Dadamba doon sa may banda nila. Dalawa lang ang nagtitira dito sa Minaribos. Is it? Ito na nga ba ang oras para sa Onik Philippines? Who do they have? Actually, let's look at who they have. Is it? Ito na nga ba ang oras para... Let's look at the drop. Let's see why they... Because that carry, running that carry... Oh, it's really their only damage who can shred tanks like that, huh? Oh, uh, they don't have enough damage output. Nah, they don't have enough, like, high damage output to melt these tanky picks. And then they got the Diggy to stop all CC. So they, they completely got countered here. They, they Yeah, they got countered. Yeah, that's a hard game to win. It was really just carry. Carry was all they really had. <laughs> Okay, that makes sense. I'm wondering, like, I'm wondering how how did they uh, carry lose to Freya? I mean, yeah, the Freya lane, like, but I mean, yeah, that that's what it came down to. It was just out drafted. Onyx Philippines, game number one. Woo! Sixteen minute victory for Onyx Philippines, debuting the Freya, and after seven seasons, sa sabihin natin to. 100% win rate yung Freya. So far, yes, that's true. At ang maganda yung pinakita dito. Leave Mikeldra for sure. Pero tingin ko. Ano lang eh, Selena Gold Lane. Hindi, yeah. pero joke lang yun. Yeah. Dahil ang ating MVP ay walang iba kundi si Kelra. 4, 1, and 3. With this, mm. Freya. At inuna ang uh, Blade of Despair. By the way, dun sa laning stage niya, ang bilis niya nakuha yung Legion Sword niya. At dahil merong 2v2, dual gold lane yung nakita natin dun sa my top, nakita natin na makakapag-farm ka nga naman bilang isang Freya. At yung kanya positioning doon sa dulo ay malupit. Pero tingin ko... And the question yung... is, ano ba, ano ba si Greta? What's the reason for you to picking it? Uh, sa Freya kasi ano eh, 
nung since nung season 11 pa namin pina-practice 'yon eh. Doon sa Bipar ay sa team ko dati. Season 11 pero hindi nagamit si season 6. Si season 6 pa. Season 6 was the last Wala time. Wala pala si Kelro noon. Para ano, parang ano eh kasi nung season 11 parang wala kaming time para kung walang ano, walang time para ilabas yung hero, parang hindi namin nakikita na maganda doon hero. So ngayong season 13 parang gusto na talaga namin ilabas kasi isang taon na yung lumipas, di pa rin nagagamit. Bakit pasok ang Freya ngayon? Pasok? Kasi oh. ano, dahil sa Digi. Meta rin kasi yung Digi ngayon eh. Kumbaga, maganda rin siya kakombo ng Freya. Ayan, now you guys know. Actually, gusto kong tanungin, may Louis, Freya... Yeah, that's true. Because like, Freya can just get get all her skills and stuff out. Don't have to worry about being CC. That is a good combo. That's nice. That, that's fine. Yeah. Selina. Selina. That's it. Yung tatlo. Feel ko marami pa eh. Mara, mara, si kayo nung choices yun. Kasi those aren't the normal, normal. In, that in, we normally see uh, here in the MPL. Sino right. nagplano nun, Coach? Why not, Coach Etomax? Lahat yun. Ano, kung baga, overall, overall idea. <laughs> overall idea naman yun. Kung baga, lahat, syempre, ano, kung baga, yung mga ganong heroes, lahat naman kami, ang baga naman kami dun. Walang so, specific. Mara, marami ba ba up your sleeve? Ano ba dyan? Abangan nila, maraming pala lalabas. Maraming pa nakatago. Maraming nakatago. Ito gusto ko marinig sa kanila eh. Ano, ano, what time is it? It's Sonic time. Sana ako ulit. Igalo-isip siya ng konti. But, at the same time, I also wanna ask si King Kong. Kasi King, nung second game... Alright, Charles. So there we have it. That was actually an interesting game. I liked it. I liked it. That was an interesting... That was an interesting game. Interesting pick. I love the... I love those strats that catch people off guard and it's just a different way of thinking. Like the synergy between Diggy and Freya making that connection and deciding that now's the time to use it. That that was that was dope. I actually love the fact that they did that. I always like to see um I always like to see things get pushed forward. And I mean that this is this is what happens, bro. This is definitely what happens. So yeah, I, I love I love games like this where it catches people off guard because you don't think that the, a strategy is going to be as effective as it is. But you counter the weaknesses of a hero because that's very, very slept on. Like in Mobile Legends, the community says, oh, that hero is not strong enough. That hero is not meta. So don't use that hero. When in reality, it's like that hero is not strong enough. That hero is not in meta. But why is it not in meta? What makes it weak? Okay, what hero can I pick next to that hero to now make that weakness not exist and make that weakness a strength? And a lot of people don't do that, but that's that's how the thought process when it comes down to looking at games like this should be. It should be thinking like that, where it's like, oh, my team is weak in this area. I have to cover up that weakness by picking this and playing in this way. A lot of people can't think like that. A lot of people don't think that deep, but this is a very deep and, and strategic game if you actually get into the nuances of how you should be able to think when it even comes to playing the game. But, I mean, Mobile Legends is a simple mobile game. People don't take it that serious. So, all you got to do is press a bunch of buttons and use skills. That's, that's really what the game is. But when it gets to a higher level, there is insane strategies and insane things that you could do to make picks that you may think is never possible. You can make those picks possible. So, yeah. Anyway, I digress. Um, be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications. And I will catch you all on the next one. Peace out, y'all.